Hey guys, what's up? It's your coach, Nathan Savage, and today I'm going to talk about the inverted row. One of the reasons I like to incorporate the inverted row into lots of my clients' programming is because it's very simple if someone can't do pull-ups, and it's a great way to build up some back strength. There's several different variations of the actual inverted row you can use to get you a lot stronger and build up your strength. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that. Usually when I have clients who use the inverted row, I like to use a supinating grip. So that means I want your thumbs facing out instead of in pretty much, okay? So I want you to see set up, okay? The first variation I'm going to teach you is I want your knees up. And so we're going to get our grip, okay? First thing you're going to do, lift your hips up and you'll pull and hold the top and back down. Pull, hold it, back down, okay? That will be the easiest variation of the inverted row you can do. Next thing you can do, you can start by putting your feet out instead of having them bent, chest up, and pop up. Just like that. To vary a little bit harder, you can also get chains and you could use bands and put them around your hips. Or you could elevate your feet some. Or if you get good enough, you just go ahead and start doing pull-ups. If you guys have any questions, you can comment or like and email me if you have anything to ask me. Thank you.